All right, I'm here with David Morrison of the Miramichi Northman. Uh, David, your team had a very successful first weekend. How are you feeling coming out of that? Yeah, it's always good to get started. It's been a it's been a long process getting going. Um, so it's finally nice to see a couple of games and and see where we are and and really see what we have for players because, as you know, you know you go through practices and inter squad games, but nothing beats the real thing and seeing guys in in the real deal and in the game situations and. It was good uh, how we started, you know, Friday night at home was our home opener against Bucktoosh. Bucktoosh is always a good team. They're always right there in the end. So um, <clears throat> we knew we had to we had to come out hard and, and take control early. And we were able to roll four lines and 60 for the most part all night. And we really seemed to wear them down with, you know, we had over 60 shots on that and really dictated the tempo of the game <clears throat> with our four lines and, um, you know, we had some guys that, that had great opening nights and, uh, with Votor back there, you know, it just solidified our, our goaltending and, and, uh, it was a good night overall. Yeah, that was a very fun game. I will say that I hadn't been to the civic. I don't think I went last year at all, but the value of the game, you guys have some fun intermission stuff. It's really a good fan experience too. Yeah, our owners have been working extremely hard uh, putting together stuff like that for entertainment uh, for the fans. And I wasn't able to get to see any of the intermission stuff, but um, I, from all accounts, it was a it was a good night overall. Yeah, it was a great time. So uh, I was in River Valley. I was in Miramichi. Uh, River Valley, you guys kind of, I think River Valley came out hard, and then you guys wore them down again. You guys just tough team to play against, I think. Yeah, we like where we're at right now in terms of our depth. And, you know, we were missing four regular guys going on the road in Doketown. And, you know, it's a tough burn to, to go in and get two points out of. You know, they came out hard and, and they were extremely physical and they have a great team. And uh, we were down 3 nothing going in the first uh, first intermission. And, you know, there was no panic. We just we knew the next goal was important. And that's what we tried to focus on is coming out in the second, scoring one, getting back in the game. You know, uh, Denver Dunfield really picked us up with a good tilt. And then, of course, Nick Forn, um, another real good tilt. And that kind of sparked the bench and, and gave us some life. And, uh, you know, we had we had some guys step in in their first game. And, uh, you know, I can't say enough about how they stepped in. Guys like Grant Donovan, um, both Logier twins stepped in, you know. These guys weren't in the lineup Friday night, and they didn't sulk and complain. They were the first ones there. And, you know, they stepped in and did a phenomenal job um, helping us get through that game. Um, and we had some big performances there. Like our captain, Chris Keening, scored too late to, to give us a win. And uh, it just seemed after the first period, we uh, we were a different team and we kind of came out like we did Friday night. And uh, we had some great performances, you know, both ends of the rink. And, uh, and guys really stepped up. I was real proud of the heart and the grit they showed coming back. And, and uh, more importantly, I, you know, I like being around the room and seeing how guys interact and we brought in some quality guys and I'm real impressed with how our dressing room is. And, you know, there's no panic. We have great veteran leaders and the young guys we brought in and all the newcomers really fit in. So overall, you know, pretty positive weekend on our end. That's fantastic to hear uh, this weekend going into it. You guys are um, on the road and ship again this weekend, correct? Yeah, we're there Friday night. Um, we're still trying to piece our lineup together to see who's in or out. We have some guys traveling and working, and you know how it is with senior hockey. So um, hopefully we'll be ready to go and, and look to have another road win before coming back home the following weekend. Fantastic. I know it's going to be a pretty crowded barn in uh, Shipkin. I'm hearing a lot of good things there. So, uh, you know, good job. Good first weekend. Thanks again for your time, David. I appreciate it. Okay, and, Gordon. Uh, we'll touch base soon. Thanks, bud. See ya. Thanks, bud. See you.